The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 5, verses 33 to 37. Jesus said to his disciples, You have learnt how it was said to our ancestors, You must not break your oath, but must fulfill your oaths to the Lord. But I say this to you, do not swear at all, either by heaven, since that is God's throne, or by the earth, since that is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, since that is the city of the great king. Do not swear your own head either, since you cannot turn a single hair white or black. All you need say yes, if you mean yes, no, if you mean no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we all, the devotees, have intentions to present before the altar. As we begin the Mass, as we begin the Rosary, as we begin any prayers and devotions, we present the heart's intentions before the Lord. It means that I am a creature of God and I rely on God's assistance and help. Therefore, we are at the mercy of God. God does not treat us as slaves, but he treats us as his children and his friends. But we in return have to be truthful to the word of God and to what the Lord is saying to us through the scriptures and through various people around us. The truthfulness of our life is a gratitude that we can give to God by being real and genuine in life. That is what the Lord says to us in the gospel reading of today. When you mean yes, you say yes, and no when it is no. There is no need to swear in the name of God, in the name of the earth, in the name of Jerusalem, or in the name of anyone's parents. Your truthfulness should come by your yes and by your no. This is the invitation the Lord gives us to be truthful to the utmost in Him. The theme of today is Saint Anthony, the intercessor of the people of God. He is a very powerful saint who preached the word of God so powerfully that he meant what he preached. Saint Anthony says, in life, we should offer prayers both in mind and in vocal, and we should also do it in a manual way, that is, in our day-to-day -day life. 
our relationships should be mental vocal and they should be real manual which means all that i speak should be real in my day to day life when the body of saint anthony was to be removed in order to be shifted from the chapel of the blessed virgin to the shrine that was built they found that his tongue was red his chin and other vocal elements were there as they were and it is still there in the shrine where it shows that saint anthony was a real active preacher who preached what he practiced what he lived for christ and today saint anthony reminds us that we need to be clean of words clean of tongue and we should preach to others what we really mean and what we do in our lives this great saint is now there at the altar praying for us interceding for us and how many people flock in devotion to him in order to get blessings in abundance in order to receive what is lost in their lives be friendships be persons be material things and the lost souls so my dear friends we need to take saint anthony as our intercessor in life so that we learn from him things that are clean of heart clean of words and tongue and we live with each other without any malice and without any hurt feelings amen